Well, one of the most crazy stories about your career is your mom. Yeah. It's about how your mom just never gave you any praise. Yeah. It's like, nope, not good enough. She was tough. She was she was tough. You know what I mean? And I I love my mom to death. That's my that's my heart. It's my girl. You know what I mean? But that was just her way of pushing me to be great. You know what I mean? And um, she just knew that her son was 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 so competitive. She was just like, all right. Let me see how competitive you is. Let me come here, little kid. You would, he, she would pay people to try to beat you up. Yeah, no. We, well, we have gloves. We have gloves, and you know, cause yeah. I come from a. a my, my family was all into boxing. My dad's side of the family, uh, my mom's side of the family. So she was always tough. So she'll get the little kids in the neighborhood five dollars if they can if they can win. We'll be in the front yard, and you know, I I beat them all up. I beat them all up. <laughs> I'd be like, now nah, what? Well, you give me the money, <laughs> you know. It's amazing how it works. I mean, now it's not something like I think a psychologist would recommend for raising a child, right? But sometimes they're wrong, yeah. you know. And it depends on the person whether they, they can rise to that challenge. And obviously, yeah. it made you great. Yeah, I think that's why I said, you know, uh, I love to hear the the doubters, the naysayers, because I think it's something in me from my past trauma with my mom you know me trying to trying to prove her wrong you know me fighting for her you know uh, approval so you know it goes back to when i was a kid when you know she would say oh man you ain't you ain't gonna win it and i go out there and win i come back with the belt and she taking pictures with the belt look <laughs> look what my son got look what my son did you know what i mean but then you know when when it's just me and her, you still ain't shit. You ain't, you ain't gonna win the next one. You know what I mean? So I laugh and stuff like that. That's and, amazing. Know, yeah. So it was just you know, uh, my mom knew what she was doing at a for, for me at a young age. She was instilling you know mentally toughness mm. because you know um, through anything that's going on in my life, I'm always focused. No matter what it is, it can be. A uh, loud room full of full of people. It can be fifty people in a room, and I could be fighting the next day. And the average person be like, "Man, what is you doing, dude? You got a big fight tomorrow. Like, you need to be focusing. You need to be resting. You they need to be out the room. You know, I'll be sitting there. I'll be like, I'm good. I'm not doing nothing. They just sitting here talking. What's right. wrong with that? Because I'm so locked in. Because yeah. once I'm focused on something. <laughs> that's not going to distract me. And I think that's that comes from my upbringing as well.